this and Doc's head so head, small. You know, I, I can't even buy hats, dude. Bro, I'm on that Barry Bond shit, bro. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I'm on that Barry. I actually can't buy hats. I can't I'm, buy hats because they never fit. Not I'm, even snap I've never found not a hat. They don't, they don't, they they don't go that low. It's, it's too it's too like deep, and it comes over my ear. That's how I am with condoms. They don't fit. Oh, oh, uh, it's crazy. Okay, yeah. Trent. Crazy. Are we recording right. now? They don't. You know. Not All right, even, everybody. Not uh, even the Magnums. Happy uh, oh, Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Uh, mm. We're here for uh, episode four. Um. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and start with some UFC last night. Who watched? Cowboy Cerrone beat Al Ali Quinta in a five-round slugfest for the ages. What did he do, drop him twice? Three times, actually. Uh, officially three times. He, that, they counted that, uh, that knockdown in the third. Uh, yeah, man, Cowboy is <laughs> on his hair, good, dude. Daddy Cowboy, 3-0. Yeah, I, dude, he he looks so sucked out at 155, but when he puts it back on the same and and performs, dude, he's he's on tear. But yeah. he does look super sucked out at 155. He but. started out really slow last night too. I feel like, but he's always a slow he, starter. He's, a pacer. he's all yeah. He's, he's always a, smart a slow fighter, starter. Obviously, so yeah. most fights in UFC history. Did you guys one or something like that? Watch the, uh, his post interviews. I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he said that. Um, when he got to the arena, he wasn't feeling it. Yeah, he didn't do a warm up. He didn't yeah. pace. He just sat down and told his guys he was all right. He didn't yeah. want to do anything. He said he was lying. He was trying to put on a show. Yep. Act yep. like everything was fine. But yep. he said he was not feeling it. Nope. He was not. Uh, Did you see where his grandmother almost had a heart attack uh, getting on the flight to go there? And he oh, said man. he almost called it off because she was sick. No, I missed that. Yeah, he said that. Uh, he was telling Paul Felder that, at, like, right after the fight, he said that his grandma almost had a heart attack and he almost called it off. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That's terrible. That's what, do you, what do you think is next for him, though? Because, honestly, like, I don't think he's going to get the next title shot after... Uh, McGregor. I you hope. think so? I hope. McGregor didn't respond. The last time Cowboy fought, McGregor responded right away. And uh, he didn't respond this time. He's been aw- awfully quiet, actually, on social media, which yeah. is weird. Kind of weird, yeah. I'm hoping that uh, what they, do you they can make that happen. Or Ferguson. Or Fer- oh, man. Ferguson. That'd be a good fight. Yeah, that'd be a great Imagine fight. if that got to the ground, the scrambles we could see. That'd be awesome. Those would be some good scrambles, oh, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. I think Ferguson would submit him pretty handily. Submit him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he, no. he submitted Kevin Lee. Know. Ugh. Yeah, but Kevin Lee's a monster. Kevin Lee's good. No, but Kevin Lee's a good wrestler. He doesn't have like jiu-jitsu. hips like Cowboy does. He his doesn't submi- have submission his skills. His submissions like, aren't nearly as good as Frozen dude, or. Hey, yeah, you're talking about Kevin Lee, who literally had Iaquinta's back for like two rounds couldn't in their fight nothing. and could, could not yeah, finish the fight. Him. Like, if that was Donald, Donald would have finished. One hundred percent. Like yeah. his, he, fight, he does not get enough credit. For how good his jujitsu is. Yeah. <laughs> other than good. that, <clears throat> I think the only other fight I really paid attention to was Cub Swanson. Mm. And I was rooting for Cub. I'm heartbroken, man. I love, I mean, Jenna knows. I was. Cub fan? Dude, big Cub fan. Yeah, and he's, uh, dude, 0 and 4 in his last four. I yeah. know. How old is I he? felt like he won that 34, one. 34, I want to say. 34, 34 35. Is he? I, I, he's been I in the fight game for much. a long, long time. time. Yeah. He's that. He's kind of like that, uh, That what you call it, like on the fence. Like when you don't know if a guy's going to go to the, the next level. Of his career? No, no. Like when mm. you don't know. He's, if the, boys, he's a gatekeeper. Like he's a gatekeeper. Oh, okay. So like people like Brian Ortega was on this, you know, big run. They were like, well, we don't know if he's ready yet. Let's give him Cub. Mm-hmm. Then we'll see if he's ready. Uh, Hanato Moicano was on this good run. They were like, all right, well, he's good, but he's up and coming. Let's give him Cub Swanson, see how he does. He beats Cub, then he gets a fight with Jose Aldo. And that's kind of what it is. This uh, Shane Burgos that he fought last night, another up-and-comer uh, at 145, which, goddamn, he looked big for 145. Yeah. He yeah. looked like he Jack could fight City, at 170. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, him. He made Cub look really small. He did. But uh, I mean, Cub. Cub can still fight, but I don't think he's going to be any more than that gatekeeper rule. Yeah, he's going to be thirty six this year. So you know, time is ticking. And talk yeah. about someone who has a high level ground game who just never, never uses, uses it, it, man. Who just wants to go out there and bang and have fun. But I feel like he's could have won some of these fights. Maybe not the Ortega fight, but he could have won last. I, I think. 
he won last night, in my oh, opinion. Oh, you know who yeah. else they gave him uh, to see when he was on the up and up? A little guy called Max Holloway. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. True. Yeah. I and and Max that. Holloway actually submitted him with a mounted guillotine. That's true. What do you think's next for Ortega? Well, who do you think, uh, who do you think sponsored they by Modelo, <laughs> that, living the life, <laughs> private jets. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, well, Alex Vol- Volkanovsky and Jose Aldo are fighting on the next UFC card. I'll um, probably get the loser of that fight. Yeah, that's what I'm. Well, or the well, yeah, the, the winner of that fight will probably get a title shot. Well, I think no, Volkanovsky's I think, scary, dude. Yeah, he is. Great wrestling. Yeah. He's a super good wrestler. Uh, yeah. But, but man, I think they're going to give Frankie Edgar the next title shot, what? actually. Really? I know. I, I don't think it's right either because he's Ortega the- knocked him out in his last fight, and he's he hasn't won a fight since. But, every, dude, you know who Max Holloway is. Mm-hmm. You know who Frankie Edgar mm-hmm. is. I think Big they're, they're going to set that up because Frankie's done a lot for them, taking a lot of short-notice fights. And you know how the UFC works. He scratched my back. I'll yeah. your yeah. back. Yeah. So I think they're going to give that to Frankie. Uh, I think Max beats Frankie. And then I think either the winner or loser, I think Ortega will come back to to one of those I guys. I think the only person in the title picture right now that Max would have trouble with would be Volkanovski. Yeah, man. He's a scary guy. It's hard, and he's got good, good wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. Well, good Max tips. has, like, one of the highest takedown defense ratings. Yeah, but UFC, Max right? didn't – didn't Max have a little trouble against Chad Mendez? And he and yeah. he and this is, like – he fights like Chad Mendez, but Chad it doesn't have that like killer instinct mm-hmm. that I think Volkanovski like he has that he wants to hurt you. Yeah. Not like not like Mendez. Mendez wants to go out and be cool and like you know fight and then we'll make up after. But Volkanovski like is a like Terminator. Yeah, he, want, he wants monster, to knock your fucking yeah. head off. UFC next week. Yeah, Rose Namajunas, uh, Jessica Andrade. Ooh. That's a dude. Uh, Who you got? My heart, my heart, Rose. I, I'm literally in like with Rose. Oh, Jenna staring at you <laughs> hard. <laughs> yeah. Who's Rose? Yeah. Listen. listen, listen. Whatever you say on the podcast, you're safe. This is I a know. safe zone here. Is there is there like a men's beaten shelter nearby? Because like, <laughs> oh, can someone no. hey oh, no. can someone send me the number to a oh, spousal God. abuse like? Oh, oh geez. Whoa. Look, she. Hey, uh, it's an, hey, do you know what that word means? That's it doesn't mean. You'll listen. have that word. Uh, you'll be saying that word before me, Jacob yep. Couch. Oh, Jacob hail Couch to the no. Couch getting married. <gasps> and then Anderson Silva's on that card too. And I really, th- I don't know a lot about this guy. I know he hits hard, and I think Anderson, this is it. This is it. He's gonna get knocked out cold, and the UFC is gonna make him retire. Jared mm. something. He has nothing else to prove. I, I wish he would just retire. Yeah, I mean, he's a killer yeah. G. He so. s- sits on a load of money. So. Love Anderson, man. He's got that giant school out in Los, Los Angeles. He's got that giant school out, out west. Yeah. So he doesn't have to worry about. How many times you guys met Anderson? Once. I've met him a few times. Yeah. I met him. Super nice guy, man. He's so. He's, yeah, yeah he's, Couch got hurt, and uh, Anderson uh, <laughs> took care of Couch and wrapped, stopped he, his seminar and wrapped Couch's knee. And took care of him, and we With the pack, yeah, and we made fun of it him. It was the coolest shit. Was he? Was what, so dope. Was he like, hey, Cal, it's normal. It's, it's normal, it's, guys. It's normal you, you get hurt. It's normal. normal you get hurt. He said, "Don't be a little pussy." <laughs> <laughs> and he did. Yeah, but I'm I'm nervous for Anderson because like Adesanya had a lot of respect for him and kind of went out there and like, hey, let's put on a show, you know. Yeah, but I think this guy's in. <laughs> like he's. Is he's this gonna be killer. a pay per view? Yeah, it's pay per view. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Jose Aldo. Who's he fighting? Alex Volkanovski. That's the fight. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. that's gonna be a good fight. Cause, dude, talk about someone who's uh, having a resurgence in their career. Jose Aldo, man. I feel like he never fell, man. I mean, he he, he lost twice. And Matt, you're right. He lost uh, to Max Holloway, who's a. No arguably, shame. No shame. Arguably, no shame. Arguably, yeah. And he lost to um, Connor. Connor in Connor 13 McGregor. seconds. And that's neither one of those are shameful losses. That's true. You know? Isn't that crazy how something like that we think, like, oh man, he's going downhill? Two of the best to do it. Best. And it's like. No, it's cool, too. The three this best is, featherweights of all time. This is in like, Brazil. It's in Rio. So, like, uh-oh. it's going to be cool to see. It's going to be cool to see. Hopefully, Anderson. Um, hopefully he can pull it out in mm. Brazil and and leaves the gloves on the mat and retire. Yeah, and then hopefully Aldo, you know, 
But the thing is, do we like if Aldo wins? Do we really see him fight Max again for a third time? Like, I, don't know. I feel like we know how that story ends after getting brutalized two times Twice. in a row. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't you know like the Connor thing. I'd like to see him fight. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Like I don't run it back at fifty five. Why not? Yeah. He said he'll go up to fifty five because yeah. that you know that wasn't. He'd probably do so much better at fifty five too. Yeah, man, that, that's probably where he should have been yeah. this whole time. I think, I think so. so too, especially as he got older. You yeah. know, he should have moved up. Definitely. I don't know. I'm I'm excited. I don't know. I'll probably go to B Dubs and watch it. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely watch it. Just I I, I'll watch it through my fingers, just because. Rose, I love her so much. I don't want to get hurt. Me too. I don't want to get hit. We well, could, the thing is, you know she's coming off neck surgery, right, Rose? Ooh, yeah. She's been out for a year, coming off neck surgery. And then they're like, okay, do you want to fight the only girl at 115 that oh. literally has one punch knockout power? Yeah, sure. Jessica Andrade. Scary. And like, it's not like Rose can say no. She's the no. champion who's been mm-hmm. sitting out for a year. So, of course, she's going to take the Too fight. Too much pressure. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. it's going to so be next, interesting. So, next week... We'll plan on going to UFC, and then we'll plan on taking Couch to his first strip club. I like that. Well, <laughs> if he was 21, we could knock two birds out with one stone and go to Spearman and, and watch, them, watch the UFC. He's not, so we have to he's go not, to. So we got to go to Day Job Poo. Baby Couch. Yeah. And your guys' girlfriends are okay. Yeah, she's totally cool with it. Look at her right there. All right. <laughs> so, well, in, I, in our house, so that, you that's, think we get, that's like a that's this is more of a thumbs up. Can we get yeah. Jamel Muhammad to go too? Jamel, oh yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, we'll ask Sarah. Mm-hmm. We'll ask, we'll ask he he can be our driver. We'll we'll put him in a little black suit, like a little yes. butler suit, and Give him get him like, hats. You can't drink there, so he'd be like, "Give me a Red Bull." <laughs> go. We load go him up. Give me on a Red, Red Bull. Bull, cranberry juice, please. <laughs> Can we just see cows with a bunch of strippers yep. jacked up on Red Bull? <laughs> like, oh yes. <laughs> Oh, he'll be in heaven. I don't know how I feel. My heart's racing. Uh, uh. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That would be. It'd be a lot of fun. What do you think, Couch? About a strip club? Yeah. You excited? You know, have to dude. experience at least one in your lifetime, even if you don't like it. I want to go once, but once. I don't know about no goddamn uh, deja vu. I that's, mean, that's the only one you're allowed to get in. That's yeah. hepatitis A through Z right there. No, no, no. How just dare you? Up there, so boy. judgmental, dude. Those girls are paying their way through college. Uh, well, ladies, them, man. Yeah. every yeah. single one of I them is. Them. <laughs> ladies That's at great. Jacob Couch. You can find them on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> yeah, it's very judgmental. Community <laughs> college is expensive. Couch. Yeah, this oh, ain't sorry, no. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Trade school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to school to be a welder. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Lap dance with like my sandpaper hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just mad grip. So uh, it's just mad grip. Yeah. <laughs> How do you get those calluses? How was uh, open mat today, fellas? It was good. It was, it was awesome. Another good man. session. It was great. It was I packed saw, house again. I don't know if you guys seen uh, Jamel uh, avoid couch. No, he was whooping couch. No. He Where were you? Me, dog. I wasn't, I wasn't looking. Dude, there's a Time video. Out, there's a video on Facebook. Yeah, I shared that shit because they they had the triple team. That's the hey, only listen. Way any, oh, wait, hold on. Hey, you what? You listen. He's a world you champ listen. blue belt. But I'm no. pretty sure I hey. straight ankle locked him today. Hey, I'm yeah. pretty sure I was it there, took. He cried. None of you yeah. could get me one on one, dog. That's huh? right. What's up? You, you still crying. Let me throw strikes. No, What's that's up? bullshit. We're grappling. <laughs> We're talking about jiu-jitsu only. Listen, you want to get ready for Eddie Bravo's combat jiu Yeah, combat exactly. That's like the only uh, feat. No. Uh-uh. <coughs> no, thank you. The I'll best pass. way to test it I'd is... rather do a Naga, yeah. okay? I'm not taking <laughs> get no another. Contract, add dude. to my collection of Naga, Naga belts, belts rather than... <laughs> he has $20,000 worth of Naga belts. They're very our, valuable. Our producer's <laughs> yelling that we're not close enough, guys. Oh, we're not close right. enough to. You together? know what we should do is just take the middle section of the table out. Right? And make it That'd smaller. Be really good idea. Oh, my God. I'm totally comfortable with this. I'm, I love male to male. In his lap? Oh. Yeah. Oh, sit in his lap. Okay. That's so cute. Well, everyone knows this is an <clears throat> R rated show anyway. But uh, just a reminder, parents. Well, when Jamel comes on, on, it'll be PG <laughs> we'll yeah. thirteen. Rated R we'll for retarded. There's a high requirement <laughs> for the R rating. Jesus, uh. that's not good. All right, there were some Bellator fights on too. <clears throat> what? Right? Yes, Bellator. I'm not gonna lie, I missed some it. Fist fights, and well, that's surprising because oh, Brent I did see Primus, the highlight. Brett Primus. 
finish. Eight. I think the only third Go Go Plata in MMA history, yeah. right? Oh, hell only yeah. the third. I saw that today. That's it was gorgeous. It was impressive. Gorgeous. It was impressive. He was taking off, some shots off a knockdown too. Yeah, that's about. Yeah. He recovered quick. Man, dude, looking at it was so painful. I don't have the best knees, and just to see dude, his yeah. leg turn that way, like his butt, like he didn't even have his hips like kicked out. Yeah. To like. Almost like he was going either he could go Gogo Plata or Oma Plata. He just had he was just, just pulling straight, his leg yeah, yeah. up, dude. P- pull it up for me, Ethan. I missed that. I saw this highlight. Did you see Young Oh, this the Daniels, night? that Daniels boy who did that double Ooh. spin to Ooh. like a Superman punch. Was that last night? Yeah, yeah that, that was, was last, last night. night too. Yeah, yeah, he, got that, he got that from Gi Jiu Jitsu training. It's definitely not stand up. You got <laughs> you guys want to see a dead body? <laughs> he got that. <laughs> oh, is that the one? That's. What, Dude, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I feel super bad because if the volume was on, they are talking about the other guy, how he came from, like, a rough area, and, like, he's turned oh. his life around from fighting, and then, and then not even, like, a second later, he gets, like, knocked out cold. Well, I can't turn the volume on. The thing oh. is, though, man, oh like, at that gosh. level, if you see a guy spin twice, why don't you just circle off the cage? I mean... I mean, I, I, pretty I'm pretty mesmerizing, dude. dude what what a, round yeah, was this? Nine hundred on first round, end of the first, round like face. literally the end well, of the first see, round. Well, see, he also knocked him down there. That's so true. He yeah. could be on, yeah. But like he's, uh, I just he's backing himself into a corner, man. Oh, yeah, dude. You see yeah, he leg? was hurt. He's, he's just like he's out, dude. He's yeah. done. Face down, twitching. He's already on Queer Street, so you got the plot up. I'm trying to pull. It's not an Oma plot. It's a Go Go plot. Go Go plot. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Sorry, blue belt. That stuff doesn't really. Sorry, work. Blue, but I'm the one that got it right. Yeah, what okay. are you talking about? Yeah, he, he corrected. I, I literally I didn't see it. like. I missed all Bellator last. I'm week. now a brown belt, everyone, because I just you got correct terminology. <laughs> yes, I thought that's oh, all. I, it so I thought right. I thought that right. all it was to get striped up. Yeah, you just gotta know the names. You don't uh, gotta be Peyton. On the <laughs> Peyton. Posted. I just got my yellow belt yesterday. Peyton posted it. Yeah, okay. like he knows jujitsu. Oh. oh. Ouch. Oh, oh I gotta turn it down. It's like middle way through the first round. Are you serious? Yeah. I go go plot a Trent all the time. You go go plot of my balls. Do you Have you ever go go plot anyone? Yeah. How do you want to do you know how to do that? I thought about it. You got the legs for it, though. You got those hot ass legs. Right. He's got the big smelly foot. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Got that stench, boy. I did give Jacob a compliment today, though. What? Cause, what? Yeah, because he posted something on Facebook about the series that we're doing now in class, and I was like... Did he say, oh, just look at my highlights? Yeah, that's what he said. Mm. And I, I gave him some credit, and you know what he did? He was like, Damn yeah, right. that was pretty cool, huh? And I was like, you're a fucking wow. asshole. Wow. I said, oh, here thank it, you. Here it is. Wait a minute. No, you no you're not no, about you to skip past no. that like did that. Did you watch this couch? Jacob, that's not that even Jacob, that cool. we all can't yeah. talk at once, brother. Oh. We all can't talk at once, remember? So just shut your mouth. Producer gets mad. Look! Look at dude. That hurts me to look at. Yeah. Like he's not even hipping it, out no. or anything. Yeah, he's it looks like straight, his hip is about to pop out. He's That's just awesome straight though. pulling it out. Yeah. That's and badass. then he doesn't even get the arm hooked all the way. He just get right. Now did he get right a, here, right there? Oh no! Does oh. Bellator give any bonuses? That would have been a cool. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look, that, the night. they oh they God. probably do regular bonuses submission night. I mean, that's night. only the third one in MMA history. That's pretty cool. It could be one like of, uh, one of the Diaz brothers hit one up. Nick did. Nick, Nick hit, hit it in pride. Um, in pride, it was dirty. Akira Gono. Yeah, Gomi. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah, he did do that yep. to Gomi, huh? Yep. That shit was like. That but it was real day. That was nice. And you know what was awesome about that fight is like, dude, they were banging. They, that fight, if you go back and watch that fight, because that was old Pride days mm-hmm. when they just had like 10 minute rounds. Oh, yeah. The 10 minute first round. First round's 10 minutes. Yeah, and they would just go out there and bang. Yeah, dude. I went to uh, was... one of Pride's last fights in Vegas, and uh, it was probably one of the best experiences I've had at fights. Yeah. And there was fireworks. What the hell? Yes, inside the building. Jesus oh, yeah, God. they put on a show. I mean, when you got all that triad money, I mean, Whoa. Yeah. how could yeah. you not? What? Like, no, put no on that's the show. truth. That's 100% true. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. That's the truth. Jesus yeah, God. so I missed Bellator. Uh, I did watch UFC. Hey, and I want to bring something up, dude. What about Donald Cerrone? Like, that's his 40 First professional fight and 30 for Zufa. 31st. 31st for Zufa. He broke another record last night, right? And I'll tell you what, most doesn't strikes. look like he has any signs of CTE right now. He's looking pretty. I mean, he doesn't good. spar anymore, Trent. Yeah. Huh? He, he doesn't said, spar he anymore. He doesn't have. Yes, he does. No, follow he does him, not. He follow him on Instagram. It. 
follow him he, on Instagram. Probably, he's always sparring. Well, he, said on Terry he, did well, he probably has CTE. Training. Okay. You think? That? <laughs> he forget. He's forgetful. Speaking see, of that, though, did you see Bubba Lusa Brawl come out and say that well, he can't yeah. even walk a straight line anymore? I mean, Scary shit, yeah. dude. But he also That's openly talks about admitting trying to knock people out in practice and getting knocked out in practice. Well, yeah. yeah. That sounds like a typical MMA fight. No, that's old school sounds Brazil. Like old that's like, huh? Sounds like a Trent Knight. I'm a gym me. bully, bro. You come, to, you come to this gym, expect to be bullied. Unless what? you're grappling Trent, then you're probably... Unless you're, you're, you're probably a, safe a, if you're grappling yeah, Trent. Just give him your foot know. and he doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah, he's just grabbing it. Because so yeah. leg okay, locks are not allowed. I'm, I'm, <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll yell at you once or twice. His feelings like, are hurt. Why are you yelling at me while we're grappling? He'll just be like, I thought that's how you sub people. Yelling. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> his understanding uh, of jiu-jitsu. Like John yelling at that big dragon in Game of Thrones. He's like, doesn't know what else to do. So he's just like, <laughs> ah! And the dragon just dies. Stupid. That sucks. It's stupid. Any grappling this weekend? Uh, fight to win. Fight to win. Uh, I didn't watch that. The either. only notable match was uh, Herbert Santos is now the fight to win black belt heavyweight champ. Heavyweight. He, be, he beat uh, a Who'd really, he go against? really good black belt out of GFT Ohio, the same school as Dante Leon. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Legit. His name's, uh, it's, I would butcher his name, but it's like Gutenberg or something like that. And he, uh, okay. Uh, his name's like Gutenberg Prayer or something like that. He's like a world class black belt for sure, and, and he competes a lot in the gi. It was a gi. It was a gi match, so it's good for Herbert because he's kind of had some dirt on his name here lately with uh, his scandals. His some P oh, what scandals? You're in gate scandal, and then what, he's got wait, his wait, knee wait, gate wait. scandal. What happened? What happened? He, he pissed know. his pants. He pissed his pants during the match. Yeah. yeah. Why? Pull it up, Ethan. Come on. He pissed his pants during the match, and You're also new Jamie. I guess. Um, in Brazil, they had this event called, uh, it's like Substars or something like that. Mm -hmm. It paid. It was like a really nice event, like a Brazil fight to win or something. And he was getting beat by, I think, Felipe Pena. And he they stopped the match, and he was just holding his knee, talking to the ref. And mm -hmm. I guess one of Pena's teammates were yelling at Herbert. Yeah. And he was like, he started, he pointed at him and started chatting shit. And then he sprung up. Chatting shit, not talking shit? Yeah, chat and shit. Hey, chat. fuck you, bro. It's a chat po podcast, bro. Yeah, dude. Anyways, so he's chatting up. shit at me, bro. <laughs> he's, he's That's what Daryl Ray's been doing. He's been <laughs> chatting up all that shit. <laughs> he sprung up off his ass and ran and jumped into the crowd on this guy. Okay. So yeah, 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 okay. I didn't know he pissed his pants, yeah. though. It was probably a bigger brawl than. Um, than UFC 129. Hey, dude, or I don't want to see these it was sex pretty dolls. Huge. What? Huh? Why are you oh, showing me oh, sex oh, dolls, wrong, bro? Oh, no, that's the wrong page. That's the wrong page. I'm sorry. Oh, that's no. the truth. Uh, 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 your history, bro. Bro, clear your history, man. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, it's the single life. Jiu-jitsu porn. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Dude, I'm all sweaty. All now. you see is photos of Mackenzie Dern in okay. the Google search. I got it now. I see it now. Who was that girl? <laughs> Two guys? <laughs> Hey, why do you have a boner right now, dude? <laughs> what the hell, Trent? <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm flustered, boy. <laughs> I'm hot. You got it. Oh, I... <laughs> anyway, he pissed his pants. And his oh, key yeah. is just like soaked oh, from his from his hips all the way down to his... He's head. a weird he's, dude, man. You're in the middle of a match, man. You can't stop. Dude, he probably yeah. thought it was a robe and thought he could, you know, just like... No, okay, dude, I don't he, know why it's not playing, but... Yeah, what well, that anyways, is Mackenzie Dern. Herbert is, Herbert is so uh, weird because the man is, is like... Uh, I mean, he's a beast, dude. Like, he's a world-class black belt for sure. And then he does all this weird shit. Anyway, there. He plays, like, respectful sometimes, but he's really not. It's, no, that's it's an odd figure. thing to see, for hey, sure. So what Couch is saying is the steroids. Yeah, I, he might be on a little suspect. He's a big dude. Suspect. How is the testing for that in BJJ? They don't. Test. They don't? Generally. Uh, big money. Uh, I'd say because Paul uh, Horace is like, oh, dude, like scary. The ones jacked. that he, he competes in. The, the Meow Brothers got busted by USADA. Um, some test. At Worlds. Some Black Belt Worlds. Yeah. yeah. It's weird that ADCC don't test, yeah. and USADA has, somehow hasn't regulated that, because I think winning a division is like 50 Gs. Yeah, that's something like that. And then the Absolute's Ooh. a pretty good amount of money, too. That's why it's so valued. Got Val's rolling from ADCC. He's a five-time super fight champ, and he won his division like 2000, whatever five events ago was. Mm. He beat Paula Harris. Uh, Good. So that's like a ridiculous amount of money. All it's right, guys. Um, we're going to take a little break. and uh, Speaking of jiu-jitsu black belts. Yes, yeah. we're going to have 
our buddy Jamel on next. Probably the worst. Yes. No, the best. Ooh. Please follow us on our uh, iTunes, Spotify. What else are we on? Google Play. Google, Google Play. Play. Cast YouTube box. videos. CastBox. Follow me on Instagram. Follow uh, at Trent. No, Traveler. What? Traveler underscore Trent 517. Oh, my Gypsy God. Weirdo 101. What's your plug? At Jacob Couch BJJ. <laughs> at the Boss Goss. Oh, my gosh. It's better than the arm boss. These That's guys are amazing. so original. Jacob Couch, BJJ. Traveler Trent? <laughs> Dude, what kind of corny ass shit is that, huh? What kind of corny ass shit is that, dog? It's he, less he, he travels to Georgetown huh? every what day. Kind of, yeah. 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 Travel my ass. Bro, I've seen more of the fucking world than you'll ever travel. Hey, understand. travel your way to my bottom mount. Oh, bitch. man. You can, tra- you can travel. Got your ass. You bottom know what? Mount. You know that, what? I score four points on Trent every Everyone, time. Everyone, don't follow us because this is my last podcast. And <laughs> don't follow us on iTunes. His feelings are hurt. Apple Play, YouTube. Check, it's Check Cinco de Mayo, big. and he doesn't get to enjoy any cervezas or margaritas. Dude, I told these guys before the podcast, like, Jenna left the house for like 10 minutes the other day, and like, I, you know, rubbed one out to a Guinness picture. <laughs> Oh, oh. Dude, she found like Guinness pictures under my <laughs> under my bed. Like, Sticky, what are these? Crusty ass Guinness. What pictures. are these? <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be right back after this. Listen, I was born. This makes you look smart. <laughs> with a big head. There's nothing I can do about. It. I did that. Yeah. The only thing this is good for is getting out YouTube. of your teens. That's it. I, I know. I get. Yeah, I get suck a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are we uh, live? Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. Go ahead, Trent, introduce your guest here. All righty. Welcome back to Bob and Tom in the morning. <laughs> uh, so now we have professional MMA fighter, Jamel, Bla- uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Carlson Casey under... You're under Michael Donald, right? Yeah. O'Donnell gave you the black belt? Mm-hmm. Black belt under Michael Donald, uh, owner of LTJ, Lexington Taekwondo and Jiu-Jitsu. In Jam- Kentucky. Jimmel Muhammad, how are you? Good, man. How about yourself? I am awesome. Uh, you asked me that earlier when we wrestled and sparred, so don't act like you're just seeing yeah. me now. <laughs> yeah. Don't act like I just, like, like you, we literally beat the shit out of each other. for, like, like four little, hours. Yeah. Right? So uh, don't act like we just met. Like, Real quick before we start, can we, uh, can we go ahead and squash the Jacob Couch beat? Hey. Hold up. Oh yeah, what happened? Yeah. Hold that closer Hold to your that face. Hold that mic closer to your yeah. face. Act like you uh, act like a professional. Act like you've been here yeah, before. Yeah, Jesus. He can punch <laughs> people in the face all he can. But he can't <laughs> talk to a microphone. Yeah. So what's going on? Let like get, clear the air, dude. I don't know. He's just really, really angry, and uh, I just came here on the podcast to reveal what happened. And okay. <clears throat> like Jacob Couch asked me to describe him in two words. <laughs> 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 How's that going? <laughs> Loves dudes. Loves oh. dudes. Loves dudes. Okay. You know, so the reason why he's mad is because he actually slid into my DMs <laughs> oh a couple my God. weeks ago. And everybody knows his signature line. His signature line is, hey. 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 Yep, yep. So hey. as soon as he said, hey, I'm like, Jacob, we can't do this. I'm like, you got a girl. I have a wife. And he's like, dude, I've loved Aladdin since I was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so uh, I was like, dude, we can't do this. We can't do this. And then he's like, F you, Jamal. And then, and then he came on last week and tried to talk some yeah. some stuff about you. So, so he's you were bashing him. You. Yep. So that's what went down. So it's more of a rejection. Yeah. That made yeah, him upset. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that makes sense. I get that. Yeah. I mean, we've all we've all had. There's all those crazy yeah. girls that are yeah. like that. Yeah. Everyone's had rejection except me, of course. <laughs> F you, man. You're probably straight anyway. <laughs> I'm straight edge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. You got a fight upcoming, right? Let's talk about that a little bit. It is March 20... May 25th. May 25th. Yeah, yeah why did I say March? No. That's your uh, um, girlfriend's birthday. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> March 23rd. <laughs> uh, so you're fighting Michael Shields, yeah. right? Yeah. Out of Indiana? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. And uh, this is a rematch? This is a rematch, And yeah. uh, you wanted this rematch, right? Oh, you man. Cut. Like, since it happened, yeah. like, the second it happened, I automatically You, you wanted this rematch. And yeah. you've, uh, you took some time off. You got married, mm-hmm. right? You got married. Give a shout-out to your yeah. beautiful wife. Shout-out to my wife, Sarah. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> when, when is your anniversary? It is... It just happened. Dude, of course he August knows. August 12th. It's, it just happened. August 12th. Yeah. We started dating um, oh, he, he took December notes. 31st. He, Dude, I studied. For when's her birthday? Her birthday? Her birthday is January 8th. Okay. Damn. What's, what's her grandma's name? 
Her Ooh. grandma's name, uh, Irene. <laughs> That's a good grandma guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ja- there's Janie, Irene, Roberta, <laughs> Paula, uh, Grandma. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Grandma. We just call her, we That's what Jacob says. Meemaw. We just call her Meemaw. <laughs> so this is going to be here in Lexington, here yep. at home. Yep. And uh, you usually do pretty good. You're are you you're the main event, right? So yes. Far? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As far as I know, event? yeah, main event. Yeah. Yeah, you you usually bring a packed house here in Lexington, oh, yeah. man. You bring oh, it yeah. down. Yeah, oh, it'll be good. It would be a good night of fights. Oh period. yeah, for sure. The that card, card is so stacked, man. Whole card is pretty stacked. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Trent's a hard rock hater, but I'm not a hard rock hater. That. I fought four times for a hard rock. Trent, why aren't you fighting on this card? All right, <coughs> if you you really want me to get into it, yeah. All right, because I'll get into it. All right, so I was the number one contender at 185 pounds for hard rock. Uh, I. I was supposed, he offered me, he said, back in, back in like November or so, because I fought in October and won, and then became the number one contender, and he's like, hey, do you want to fight uh, Tyler Ship? winner gets an automatic title fight? Yeah. I said yes. I said yes right away. I was like, yes, I, I, I've wanted to fight Tyler Ship for a while. He's 6-0. and He's uh, a great fighter. Yeah, he's a great mm-hmm. fighter. Really good. I, I, I wanted that fight. Ever fight. since I started fighting for Hard Rock, that's the fight I had on my mind. Yeah. Like not, and all respect to Gavin, but Tyler never lost the belt. He got Kinda suspended. Like the local amateur dream fight. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. he got suspended. So of course, you know, of course, I'll, I'll, I like to challenge myself. Like, I why mean, did he get suspended? I fought Corey Holbrook. My, I, he failed a drug test for marijuana. Oh God. Yep. <laughs> So anyway, hardcore drugs. So I yeah. said yes. Tyler turned down the fight, right? Yeah. I did not know this. Adam goes to a Hard Rock fight. Ben Fowler's there. Comes up to Adam, say, "Hey, you know I'm fighting your boy in February." Fighting you? Yes. Ben Fowler comes up and tells Adam, "Hey, I'm fighting." So Adam tells me, "He's like, I thought you were fighting Ship." Because I wasn't here full time, I was just cross training. Mm-hmm. So he's like, I thought you were, you know, he's like, I thought you were fighting Tyler Ship. Because I've been coming up here and working with uh, Dan at the time. And and I was working with all these guys. And I was kind of in the process of full time over here. Yeah. And Creonte. Yeah, fuck yeah. Trader. Creonte. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, all right? It, that was, it was more of a work. I still love you, Trent. It was more of a work schedule. Yeah. You know the yeah. real story. <laughs> and so, anyway, Ben Fowler comes up and tells Adam that he's fighting me. I have no idea. Adam writes me and says, "I thought you were fighting Tyler Ship." I said, "No, uh, I still think I am." So I had to go out of my way and find out that no, Tyler declined the fight, and I'm scheduled to fight Ben Fowler. And once again, I said, okay, cool, whatever. Was that going to be a number one contender fight? I don't know. know. Honestly, I don't know. I think for me, if I would have won, it was. Yeah, it had to be. Yeah. So I I was like, no problem, whatever. I want to fight. I like fighting. Let's get out there and we'll get it done. And, uh, well, in training, I got hurt. Uh, Fucked my ankle up real bad and hyperextended my MCL. Uh-huh. And it was bad. Like there was no line. My ankle was the side. It yeah. looked like it had a softball. Black. Yeah, it looked like it had a softball yeah, coming it off. Definitely takes some time. Yeah. And I was even still. I was like, oh yeah, in a couple of weeks it'll be fine. I'll still fight. And Adam's like, no, dude, you're no, you're not yeah. fighting. Don't be an idiot. Uh, so I, I told Hard Rock uh, that I had to drop out of the fight. Peyton stepped up and took that fight and beat him. And yeah. Payton's a one seventy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. He looked good in that fight. He did. He looked yeah. real good. Yeah. I was I was happy. Uh, and then, you know, he got a big offer now. Uh, we're, me and him are fighting on the same card uh, in five weeks. You're so, fighting in Alabama. Uh, Alabama for Alabama Fighting Championship, fighting for the 185-pound title. There. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Nice. So, so, anyway, Corey Holbrook fights uh, Sam uh, McCaplin. Mm-hmm. And so this is only his third fight, right? Corey's third fight. But he is 3-0, and and he does have a win over me, right? Yeah. But I fought four times for Hard Rock in a year, in yeah. one year. So I lose my number one contender spot because I got hurt. Corey has a win over a guy who doesn't even fight in our division, right? Yeah. Like, and, so he's th- and so I'm like, 
So when I got better, I said, Hard Rock, let Adnu know, like, I'm ready to fight. When he, whenever he wants to fight, I'm good to go now. I want to fight. Well, he writes me back, Corey's the number one contender. He's like, you're not the number one contender anymore. And I said, why? And he says, well, to fight for the title, you have to stay busy. Like, I, I, want, I want my – well, he didn't say this. Rodney Thomas said this. I'm throwing everyone under Who? the bus. Saying that. I'm throwing everyone under the bus. Well, that dude. <laughs> and he's like, well, Hard Rock wants his – challengers and champions to stay active yeah and so i'm like how is that i fought four times in a year and Corey's only has three fights in total. in total yeah, and he didn't yeah. fight for a year he took a year off and i fought four times for hard rock in a year and it Way went three and active. one and was promised that i was the number one contender and your fight with Corey was super close oh, it, it was could so have gone, close yeah, yeah exactly was, yeah. razor exactly. thin decision yeah. so it is what it is and you know, Corey and uh, oh, so he, this is what he tells me. He says, Adney's talking about going pro though, so I'll keep you on the line. I'll let you know uh, if he decides to go pro, then I'll have you and Corey fight in Lexington yeah. for the title. Yeah. And I'm like, and I still, I still said, okay. So I said, let me know fast because I have some other offers. I had Island Fights hitting me up to come down there and fight their 6 and 0 champ. Where's and, that? Uh, Sarasota, Florida. Florida? Okay. Well, the the it's on an island. Yeah. Mm. So I was like, cool, man. They were talking about paying room, board, travel, per diem, everything. And uh, I was like, cool, man. That's awesome. And but Sam hit me up before that, and he's throwing the the AFC, and he said, hey, man, we want you to come down. We have a vacant 185 pound title. We're gonna have my teammate uh, Devin Davis. He's coming down from 205. He's gonna fight one. He's gonna make the weight. You two fight for a vacant title. Mm-hmm. And I said, and he said, I'll pay you room, board. You can have a little bit of the ticket money. And I was like, hell yeah, man. Yeah, That's awesome. Well. Yeah. So I said, so I agreed to that. I posted about that. And then not even a, a day or two later, Hard Rock's like, what the heck? I thought you were, su- you were supposed to fight for me. You're supposed to fight. He's like, so what? Are you going to do both? And I'm like, no, they're two weeks apart. Yeah, There's no right. way I'm doing no both. Way. And he said, well, I told you that if I. But no, you never told if, me. If, you just if, said, if, "Yeah, if. it was a bunch of ifs," yeah. and I and I was ready to go, man. Mm-hmm. I like so, that's what happened. So I wanted to be on that card. I wanna, but now my views on fighting Kentucky fighters. Listen, man, if Corey or whoever wins that KO Butler, if he wins, I want you know I want that belt. So we can do it. But uh, if not, then I'm gonna start looking for other options because these promoters are coming to me. And talking that they'll pay me room and board and pay my way down there and, you know, give me some ticket money. And, you know, so I'm getting some offers. It's not just like I have to fight you're down amateur. the street oh, anymore. You're you amateur. know what you're I mean? Not, you're not exclusive. Exactly. So I don't have a contract. I don't, I don't with have you. to fight. I don't the have to. The thing is, get experience, man. Get experience yeah. outside the area. And the thing yeah. is, I think I'm pretty good at marketing myself. I think, like, it's not like. It's not like anyone else went out and put my name out there. I went and put my own name out there, and all of a sudden, people started writing me. Hey, come fight for us. Hey, come fight for us. We'll do this. We'll do this. And, you know, I mean, everyone knows it feels good to be wanted. So uh, after this one, you know, I had Valor hit me up. They want me to come fight for them. Uh, And I had Island Fights. I'm still talking to them about if I win this, coming down there and fighting. They still want to book me as soon as I'm done with this. Would you want to do that pro? No, I'm gonna try to get two AME belts before I go pro. Okay. I wanna get, uh, I wanna get. Of course, I wanna get this AFC one, and then if uh, the Hard Rock opportunity comes up. But uh, like I said, Island Fights wants me to come down there and fight their champion soon. So, you know, do that, and uh, and then maybe. Cause I mean, I like honestly, I'm confident, and you know, I just train with killers, man. Like Jamel, I trained with. Jam- I've been training with Jamel. Ever I'm since I, that's true. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Doc Parks, uh, Doc. Yeah, he's a killer for uh, yeah. you know one oh five. What's he fight at? Adam Wayne. Yeah. He fights crackheads at no, in no. alleys. <laughs> he fights. He is the crackhead. Crackhead champ, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, we know who that yeah, he, is. No. literally oh. a killer. He's a convicted felon. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So <laughs> that's it. But this isn't about me, Jamel. Let's get back on you, man. So uh, you took some time off. Yeah. How long? I took off, let's see here, it'll be about 
10 months, 10, 10 months, months since dude. my last fight. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sure like being an MMA fighter myself, how do you feel? How's your body feel? How are you recovered? You got Man, any like tweaks? I, any? I'll, I'll say this, like in that downtime, went on the honeymoon. Um, actually a lot of guys at training started calling me cruise ship <laughs> <laughs> because on my honeymoon on the cruise. I pretty much ate the entire cruise ship. Nice. And was it all included? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just <laughs> ate and drank the whole time. I nice. got super fat. I got pretty much like just about the fattest I've ever gotten in my life. Yeah. And then uh, now, man, though, I'll say I feel great. Uh, you look weight, great. You look yeah, good. I appreciate yeah. that, man. Yeah, my weight is actually a little bit ahead of where I usually am mm-hmm. right now. So I feel really good. Um Full of energy and everything, and I'm super, super excited about. We this were fight. talking about this a little bit on the mats earlier, but you think this is it for 145, right? You yes, wanna... possibly. Yeah, I, because you yeah. got your you got everything figured out now, right? Yeah. yeah. So you thinking about making that drop 35? down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 35. Uh, that that that's ideally that's where I want to end up at for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay. At cool. your frame, it seems like 35 would be a lot better. Oh yeah, it, a lot man. better for you. Every single fight, I've been way smaller than my yeah. guy. Fight, yeah. and, and and what's funny is like in training, like I trained with Michael Seals so much, and if you know Michael Seals, he's a pretty <laughs> big dude. So like all the time we would spar, and which I'd get killed by him all the time. But so whenever I, I would go like, into my yeah. fight, I would look at the guy across from me at weigh-ins, and I'd be like, "Oh, this dude's tiny. Like he doesn't stand a chance." And then I would go back and look at the pictures. Dude's like a head taller than me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Way bigger, so yeah. So I, th- I, th- I think 35 is uh, definitely better for my body type. Yeah, how many, because you fought uh, Shields at 45 and you fought Beverly at 45, yeah. and they both looked quite a bit bigger Big. than you. Yeah. Big. That yeah. Beverly fight, though, oh my God, that fight was so intense, that man. That was a good fight. Man. It was a great yeah. fight, that was man. Fun. Super like, fun to watch. He's a super tough kid because oh, yeah, you had sure. that deep heel hook in on him, and when he screamed, like you could hear it echo throughout the Heritage Hall. Like oh, it yeah. was, so I and mean, and, and Kim Bever- like I love Kim Beverly. Yeah, but Kim's like, the man. Yeah, really nice shout guy. out super to how tough he is. Yeah, nice for kid. sure. I'm the type of competitor though. Like, like I'm not the best loser. Like if I lose oh. a fight, I want that one back for like, sure. Yeah, yeah, so for sure, like you know. After the Ken fight, I was like, I want that one back. After the Shields fight, I want that one back. So yeah. anytime I take a loss, I, I want that fight back. For sure, <laughs> man. That's going to be a big fight. Uh, Shields is good. He's got that kind of like Wonder Boyish karate, likes to throw a lot of kicks, like to throw. So it's going like, to be hard to get on the inside of him. Man. Yeah, man. Sh- Shields, I'll tell you this. Shields is very, very underrated. Yeah. Like, He's a super nice guy, too. I've, yeah. met, I've met him quite a few times. He's cool. Yeah. Like, like, I think his record whenever I fought him was like 3-8. and eight. But if you go back and look at his record, like a lot of those fights were several, several, several and he, years he, ago. And he's one of those guys, too, like – Promoters know they can call him up last minute. Yeah. Or whatever. Like he'll throw down. He'll just he's like game. he takes. Yeah, he's a game yeah. fighter. Yeah, he's game in, in any fight that he goes. And you know he's got a shot. Yep. For sure. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's very true. What year did you start training? Uh, well, okay, I started train like I started taekwondo whenever I was five years old. So that was back in 1995. Karate, bro. Yeah, Karate man. brothers Ooh, right here, son. That's where it's at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Karate bros. So pretty much uh, started that whenever I was five. And then I ended up getting into wrestling in high school. And, man, like, I don't know why, but, like, whenever I started wrestling at first, I was like, man, you know, I've been real dedicated to the Taekwondo for a while, like, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pretty awesome at wrestling. Like I did real, real, real well at Taekwondo, competed at the US Open, did real well, placed like fourth down there and everything. So I just thought that that competitive edge, like, man, I'm gonna do great. Just transfers wrestling. over automatically. Dude, yeah. The very fr- and of course, you know, I'm like a freshman in high school, so I'm kinda stupid anyway. Yeah. So the very Not first much match has changed, but yeah, yeah, the first <laughs> match I get in like with this dude from like Eastern Kentucky, I think it was like McCreary Central or something, and he had like a full mustache and everything, and I'm just like this little chubby kid, <laughs> dude, and he pins me in like 30 seconds Damn. and destroyed me, but yeah, at the, at the end of my high school career, I ended up being a pretty good wrestler, ended up being a all-state, play six at state. Well, and that gets yeah. you used to like cutting weight and everything, too. Oh, like, yeah, for sure. Like, in, I know you did Taekwondo, I did Tung Do. I competed in tournaments all the time. Yeah. And uh, there, there's no such thing as a weight cut. No, <laughs> like, no, no weight cut at all, man. You just go out there, you know, you, you compete, you either points or, you know, hard sparring or uh, hard full contact. 
and uh, you don't use, but wrestling really gets you used to it. And it seems like now, like wrestling is the basis if you make that transfer in MMA. So did that was that like if you think you if you would have just stuck to Taekwondo that you would be a professional MMA fighter now, or do you think the wrestling and then uh, the transfer in the jujitsu made you want to? be an MMA fighter. Absolutely. Like it definitely, definitely for sure. If I didn't wrestle, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be at the level that I'm at for sure. Like yeah. it, there, there would be a massive, massive, massive difference. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Cause wrestling basically like that's going to control where the fight goes. How hard was it to make uh like to, when you started getting into jujitsu to make, to like break your, not break your old wrestling habits, but how, how long did it take you before your wrestling and your jujitsu flowed coherently together? Dude, I got guillotined a lot. <laughs> <laughs> when, when was your first tournament? Cause I remember seeing you at a tournament when Jake Childress was 14. First jujitsu tournament. Yeah. Early 2008. How old were you then? I was, let's see here, I, I guess that I was about 19, 18, 19. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Was your mom there? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> yes. So I remember <laughs> this. I was there. Here's a shout thing. out to mom. Yeah, shout out to support. mom. Man. Like, she's always, you know, she never missed a Taekwondo tournament. She never missed a wrestling meet, jiu-jitsu tournament, MMA fight. She's never missed anything. Yes. Yeah. Shout out. I remember <laughs> seeing you guys sat uh, in front of us, Mama Muhammad. you Mama, and your mom. Mama yeah. Mama and, uh, Muhammad. I thought you were a Mexican, so that's why I was like, oh, this guy's going to be cool. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go on the Kelly Patrick show later on, and uh, I'm, I'm not trying to start a beef between the two podcasts or oh. anything, mm. but mm. I kind of think Kelly Patrick doesn't like Mexicans. I got that feeling, too. I was, on, I, was on, I was he on his also, show. He doesn't like women. Really? No. I didn't he, know that. He says they're not kid. funny. They're not. Oh, I thought you meant... I thought you meant the other way. Dude, um, well, well uh, you want to know why I think that hey, he doesn't like tonight. Mexicans? Ask him. Well, the reason why is because I, I, I think, it, obviously, he likes viewers. So I think that he <laughs> wants to keep the Mexican viewership. And he's like, hey, Jamal, let's have you on the podcast. And I was like, he okay, cool. He thinks you're Mexican. Yeah, yeah. and he, yeah, well, he doesn't think that I'm Mexican, but he's like, you're close enough. I wouldn't have one of them on my podcast. Oh, he yeah. said them. He said yeah. them. I knew it. He people. absolutely said them. Well, look at Doc works for him, and Doc looks like a skinhead. Uh, yeah, yeah Doc is that's true. Aryan Nation. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good though. So, 2008, your first jujitsu tournament. Yeah. Um, how'd that go? It went well. Um, I ended up were actually. A, I was in a really were you a white really, belt. Was I was it a gi? white belt. Gi yeah. or no gi? Gi. Gi. Yeah. Gi. And the very first tournament was in Louisville. Yeah, it was in Louisville. Yeah, Man, I was there. It was a. Huge bracket, my ba- it was the biggest bracket out of any jujitsu tournament I competed in. It was like 17 people. And it, wow. Yeah, and I was the one match that basically did not get a buy into it. So, so like you, you have basically like a 16 man bracket, yeah. and then you have that one. One buy. I had to go into that one. Nice. And I ended up making it uh, down to the finals. And there was this one dude at the time that uh, he was very, very, very good. I heard that he was kind of a sandbagger. And who was it? Do you know? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's come who on, is it? man? We're throwing people under the bus today. <laughs> What's your name? His name uh, was Nick uh, Albin. He was very good. His name was Travis. I'll say that his name was Travis. Ooh, but Travis no, was really, know. really good. Well, okay. So, so I he he trained at Western you know? Kentucky University mm-hmm. at like a club. So he was a senior and started as like a freshman. So it's one of those things that they kind of have like a you know have an off season and they can't really get promoted. Or anything like through the club team. That's why I'm still a blue belt. Yeah. yeah. So like <laughs> he was a white belt for four years, and <laughs> I went against him, dude, and he was running through the entire bracket. And right before that, I had like a real tough match, and like my grips were gone, and he got to the finals match, and he subbed me in like thirty seconds. Was it sub <laughs> only, or was it? What's that? Was it sub only, or was? No, 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 it was, no. Points. Oh, okay. I don't points. think sub only was a thing in 2000. Yeah. But Travis is an awesome dude. Uh-huh. If you're watching, Travis. what's his last name? Uh, Polton. Colton. Oh, yeah. He was very, know. very, very good. And, and, and he couldn't help it that he didn't get promoted. That's what belt is he now? Is that the uh, Peyton I'm Hughes? Not, I'm not is sure the... if he's doing jujitsu anymore. But uh... Yeah, I don't know if you know uh, about one of your teammates, Peyton Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Who's I, that? I seen him Peyton, at Peyton. I <laughs> yeah. seen him at Naga um, last year. How, yeah. Wait, how long has he been grappling for? Dude, Since he was Peyton. like 13. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> maybe young. I don't know. Maybe Dude, younger. Like hey, he's been grappling a long time. He was at Naga, seven years in yeah. the beginner division. Yeah, 
Okay. And he was I doing like it. he was doing flying arm bars <laughs> and flying triangles yes. on these poor I kids. I could see Peyton being like, "Oh man, I've only been training a few months." Nah, bro. Yeah. He came here. He came here for an I open mat after, yeah. and, and Gomez is like, "Yeah, we saw you ran through everyone." <laughs> yeah. And he's like, "What? It's not my fault. No one promotes me. Not my fault. No one promotes me." Yeah. No. And Peyton's very, very good. Yeah. Very Peyton, good. Yeah. I mean, he's like what six two. Got Dude. super long limbs. You guys, super long limbs has a really good base. Yeah. Listen, he's, he's listen. Tough. Let's not give him that much credit. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's a he, he he's a teammate of mine, so I kind of have to be. Oh, he's listening right now. Yeah. Hey, Peyton, oh. what's up? Hi, Peyton. Oh, we hey. love you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, White. it's not like I, I can talk shit about Peyton White because like Peyton's we literally life. punch each other in the face of like what's a good I'll fight you. Well, I'll fight you. Well, I know everything you do. Well, I know everything you do. Okay, let's not this is well, fuck you. <laughs> and then he gets kissed. I totally understand. And then, and then we make out <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> so uh your coaches, let's talk about your coaches, uh Michael Seals, Tony Dennis. How is it training with them guys? It, Which I already uh, know, but I want you to explain it to the viewers I just wanna, how wait. training with those two is. Do you guys know Stony Dennis is a flat earther? <laughs> no. Stony Dennis is an arguer. Wait, he just wants man. to argue. Stony Dennis is an absolute troll on Facebook. Absolute and very, very good at it. Flat earther. He is the best at it. The which, best. Yeah, he he is. I don't good. I don't know what Stony really believes and what he doesn't believe. Like, I, hey, he tell the so well when we come back. We only got a minute left, but when we come back, you should tell the flannel story. Oh yes, yeah, yes, yeah, that's yeah. the best. And absolutely, yeah. We'll we'll talk about Seals and Stony and uh, the dynamics between those yes, two. Yes, please, that, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Stony Dennis is the man. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, Remember, follow us. Peace. Now we're oh, back. Yeah. Now yeah. we're back. Now we're back. Our producer, uh, one of the best in the world. The best <laughs> to do it. Maybe for Kelly Patrick, yeah. he's pretty good. Yeah, I know Joe Rogan keeps trying to get him, but <laughs> you know what, Joe? He's he's not he's happening, attached. bro. He's Got attached. Him. All right, we're he's back family. with professional fighter Jamel or professional <laughs> MMA fighter Black Belt Jiu Jitsu. Professional um, grappler. He's done a UGI. Grappler, yeah, yeah, yeah he's a professional side. grappler yeah, as well. Yeah. He's been paid. And. We were just about to get into the infamous, the infamous Stony Dennis story. Stony Dennis, Michael Seal story. So I'll let you take it away from here. Well, first off, I got to kind of explain the dynamics between Stony and Seals. If you've ever been around either of them, like Seals is extremely serious. He's very strict in training. Um, oh, uh, Perfectionist. 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 And Stoney and Seals are both going to be, like, extremely, extremely real with you <laughs> whenever you're training. Like, if, if you aren't doing that well, they're going to tell you that you suck. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like, no doubt about it. The first time I met Seals and I told him I wanted to train with him, he said, uh, he looked at me dead in the eye and said, I said, hi, my name's Trent, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to start training in the noon class. He said, if you're here in three months. I'll, I'll, learn, your I'll learn your name. Dude, I'm surprised he even said that. Like, whenever uh, whenever I trained with him, it was maybe, like, eight years ago or something, which Seals has changed a lot over the years. <laughs> I, yeah, whenever yeah. I went into class the very first time, I'm like, I, I was a blue belt at the time, and I walked down, I'm like, hey, man, uh, I think I'm going to start training up here, and I was wanting to try out class today. And he just looked at me. He said, absolutely nothing. <laughs> and then I'm cold. like... My name's Jamal, like, nice to meet you. And he looks at me, he goes, Mike, and just kind of nods his head <laughs> and then just walks off. <gasps> dude, and the beginning of class... And like, nothing has changed. Dude, dude the, the very beginning of class, he didn't say anything to anyone. And he just walked in the middle of the mat and he started warming up. And then everybody just followed him. And back in the day, so, he only had, like, he had this little cult yeah, following yeah, of, yeah. like... Five or six people. And then when I got there, it was like eight or nine, just like us regulars. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. And, then, and now I hear it's quite a bit. So no, no, no. He's, like I said, he's changed a ton. He's, he's, he's pretty personable now. Is like, he the head instructor there? Uh, in the daytime. In the daytime. Okay. Yeah, for, for jujitsu. Nice. And um, yeah, but, but he just went out there, started warming up. Everybody else like just followed him and started warming up, and I'm like, well, I guess I gotta go out there with them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but that was the first time I met Seals. Super super serious guy. Um, and then Stony Dennis. 
Oh, hold on. I got a seal story for you just to tell you how intense this guy is. Okay. I was I was rolling at Four Seasons on a Saturday, and I was still very green, like very, very green. So like last month. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday? Exactly. <laughs> and so, listen, I mean, I bought a ghee and everything. I had, you know, my little white belt. It was all fresh. But on Saturdays, no ghee, right? Well, I didn't know. I had only been in the gi doing jujitsu, so I didn't know that when you're in no gi, you're not supposed to grab the clothing. Yes. So Seals comes in on a Saturday, and it's just me and Matt uh, Ciparelli, is I believe that's how you Seal and Perry. Yeah, 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 Matt, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's just me and him in there, and he's going over some stuff with me, and Seals walks in. And, you know, I'm a big guy. Seals is a big guy. Yeah. So he's like, hey, go ahead and roll with Seals. And uh, I was like, okay, I, I mean, I'll give him my best. I knew he, dude, just by looking at him, I didn't have to ask. I just knew this guy was good. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, he's, he's a just, monster. Yeah, you don't have to ask. I was like, all right, he's going to kill me, but I'll, I'll, I'll give some resistance. I'm strong. I'm big, you know, and I had been going for like a month, so I knew some stuff, you know. I was like, I'll do my best. Well, he's in shorts and, and a rash guard, and we're going. And I am. I'm grabbing his shorts. I'm grabbing, you know, I'm grabbing anything I can because he's just ragdolling me. And uh, at the end of the five minute round, he gets me. He gets me in a Kimura lock, standing Kimura lock, and just rips me down. And there is so much like he's looking at me, and my my shoulder is like on the verge of popping. Yeah. And he looks at me and he goes, very calmly but very. Soon, he goes, stop grabbing my fucking shorts stop grabbing my fucking shirt and i just said yes sir <laughs> <laughs> and then and that that was my introduction to no gi jiu-jitsu do not grab shit Dude, i've seen him <laughs> do that several times to people people either that or he'll like just straight up be like you should tack because i would have straight up broken your arm yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i love I'm michael Sills, you. Though. Yeah. thank you for everything oh, that yeah. you've ever He's done awesome. for me He's awesome. But Stony Dennis, man. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Stoney's my favorite guy. Stoney, you Have you either, ever met Stoney? I've never Stoney, you one. either love him or you hate him. And I absolutely love Stoney. And Stoney has his ideas, man. And he he will definitely put them out there for sure. Oh yeah, no filter. Yeah. And and Stoney is a type of guy like if he knows that you don't like something or whatever, like he will push your butt. He called me a communist for like a month yes. straight one time. Bro. Oh, I remember when you guys got into <laughs> it. He called me like a communist for a month straight just because I I said something that I, I forget what it was about, but I was like, Yeah, the government probably should regulate that. Are you're a commie. You're, that's what communism is. And I'm just oh, like, yeah. no, Stoney, <laughs> that's not what I meant. I didn't mean it. And for a month straight, Trent's a commie. Told everyone. He's got, he's got a point, though. Oh, I true. Mean, so. yeah. I, did, I didn't want to <laughs> call myself out, but, you know. <laughs> no, Stoney likes to have fun, man. And, uh, and he's extremely witty. And if he knows something will get under your skin, he'll kind of poke at that. And he gets so much satisfaction out of it. <laughs> So the story between Seals and Stoney. So, you know, every time, like, he really, really, really loves messing with Seals all the time because Seals is so serious. Well, there was this this one time that Stoney came in in this red jacket. And like a flannel, like a yeah, black, like black a, and red flannel yeah, jacket. Yeah. Like an essay flannel? <laughs> like a lumberjack flannel. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So Stoney came in walking in, and he's like... And he had his hey, long hair, and he had his beard. Dude, so he, was, he looked so proud of himself, and he just walked in. He's like, you know, shoulders back and everything, walking very tall. And he's like, I look like a lumberjack in this jacket. <laughs> and he kept saying that, like, I look like a lumberjack in this jacket. And everybody was, like, just looking like at, like, the shoulder pads in his jacket. <laughs> Dude, this was this, this was the one and only time, but it was the best time that anybody has owned anybody in the gym. And Seals looked at him and he's like, "You know, that's a woman's jacket." Because <laughs> <laughs> it had shoulder pads. Yeah. And Stoney's like, "What? This isn't a woman's jacket." And he's like, "It's got shoulder pads in it." He's like, "What? This isn't a woman's jacket." And he goes off and he just kind of storms off, goes through the front door. And Jason Jones was working up front at the time. And he's like, this must you a got, long time ago. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It was a long time ago. And Stoney was like, you guys are crazy. So then Jason ends up walking in and he's like, what did you guys tell him? And then we explain the story to him. And then he's like, he asked me if this looked like a woman's jacket or a lumberjack jacket. And he's like, 
my wife has that same jacket on the closet. <laughs> 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 so like, so like, Stone Evil gives Seals so much trash all the time, but anytime that Seals brings that up, that is the one thing that Stoney like can't say anything back to him. That's that was a lot of fun. <laughs> now, did Stoney ever wear that jacket again? No, never, no, no, no. no. I, I've never seen him wear he that. He probably jacket burned it. So you think? No, you think if he hears this, he still has that jacket? Mm, that's a good question. He might. He might have it deep in the closet somewhere. Deep. Like. Deep. <laughs> Deep, like deep in it's the in one of, his, one of his bunkers. Possibly, yeah, yeah. It could For be one of his bunkers. <laughs> yeah, he might have some dead bodies, like in his bunker. Like, it's hard yeah. to tell about Stony. Yeah, don't it's, make Stony paranoid. Dude, Stony and Seals, they're they're like my yin and yang, man. Like, yeah, definitely. They, they kind of counteract each other, and man. Like it's it's a lot of fun training with both of them. Now, how awkward is it gonna be when we're cornering you? This fight. Oh, <laughs> oh. I, I don't know. I just, when you come out with a yellow and black shirt. Uh, how long have you been cross training here? Uh, oh man, I've God. been I've eight been years cross training here for a long time. Man. Well, I remember when I was at Four Seasons, you you were the one that told me. Me and you came yeah, up here on a yeah. Sunday together. We were on that March third, two thousand seventeen. That. For Lexington car, oh, yeah. and you told me to come up here, and that's how I got introduced. Dude, I, I, I think if you want to be the best that you can be, I come think train with Adam Gomez. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> wow, that's enough of the show. Thank we, you guys. All right. we, we know how Adam's head got that big. <laughs> I think I think that uh, it is super important to cross train, just because you know a lot of gyms have one certain type of style. And you're going to get the best of every world if you go and cross train. You're going to be able to learn different things, uh, different parts of the game from, from different people whenever you go to different gyms. Different looks all the time. So mm-hmm. when's the last time you competed in uh, just pure jiu-jitsu? Pure jiu-jitsu, man. It, it was probably at Adam's UGI. Against it's Chris Griffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, mm-hmm. it, it's tough because, you know, whenever you're, whenever you're doing MMA and then you go into jiu-jitsu, People think it's real similar, but it it is very different. It is yeah. di- in a way, yeah, yeah. in a way, yeah. yeah. Well, like uh, we were talking about, like uh, we want to start going out of state. We want to start training with more gyms in Kentucky, and then going out of state to fight. That yeah. way, there's no conflict of interest, and we get to go on a free trip and have a lot of fun. And there's no, you know, not necessarily bad blood, but we just we want to expand and train with everyone. But in jiu-jitsu, like, you can set up a tournament, and it's like, oh, cool, I'm going against, you know, just for example, like, oh, me and Ethan. Dude, oh, I mean, you yeah. know what I mean? That's like, oh, cool, we'll bump, slap, and we'll go out and have a great match. Dude, Adam's... I will Adam's totally... EGI. I will own him if he doesn't give me a toehold. I will go out and mm. own him. Oh, didn't I, didn't I get... Stay it, tuned for that match. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, we'll set that up. At Adam's right. UGI, I went against Chris Griffin. Only which, for 500 apiece. Yeah. And Chris mm-hmm. Griffin is a real good friend of mine and everything. Yeah. And, uh, he's a Carlson Gracie affiliate. And we ended up grappling. Like, a grappling tournament, it's not a big deal at all. Yeah. It's yeah. not a big deal. And you guys both own your own gyms. Yeah. yeah. You're, you know, you're your own boss. Yeah. But uh, did anybody complain about that? <laughs> You are They're such a dick, bro. <laughs> what? You are such a dick. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, we don't Be- have to go Between me and you, we're not, we're not, we have no friends. A, c- a couple people did. But me and Chris Welcome were to cool the Jamel with Ethan it. Show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, what, yeah, it doesn't matter. What about you, Ethan? Have you ever had to grapple with someone personally close or affiliate? Or, or how do you feel about it? Or I mean, how do you feel about it? I don't care. Yeah. I mean, it's a grappling tournament. Him, it's and, not him and Couch were in the same division for absolute mm-hmm. last week. Yeah, and yeah. If they, if okay. they both got into the finals, they would have just had yeah. fun and split so, the yeah, money. Yeah, just, so we agree. So around. like yeah. that's the thing. That's the difference. So that's I mean that's what we're trying to Me do. Me personally, I mean, I'm not going to split the money. I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> but I came from a different era. Yeah, man. It, I'm I, trying I, to teach differently now. The best example of that, like what I thought was really cool, like uh, Nick Albin and Chad Hardy. Went against <laughs> each other in the finals of this one tournament. Yeah. The same and tournament. Th- That's Eco. Yeah, yeah, Eco. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they ended up staging it like a pro wrestling match. Wait, when like, was this? This was last year, year or two. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I'd like to see that. Is that on film? <laughs> yeah, pull it up. Yeah, yeah, oh, pull yeah, it up. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like, I think that, like... They did, like, a... Nick gets them in, like, a sleeper hold or something in, like, where they stick their arm yeah. out, and they look like that they're going out. And then they start raising their hand and, like, fist pumping That's their way hilarious. out of it. That's hilarious. Got out of it. And that, then I want to say he caught him in, like, a Boston Crab or something. I, hey, I'm trying yeah. to remember. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 
He was yeah. like spinning him around the mat with his yeah, legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. so yeah. funny. It was pretty awesome. Come That's on, cool Jamie. when you can go out and have a good time like that. Yeah. Yeah, so I think if it's it's something like that. Um, for the UGI, the winner of the pro matches, they get 100 bucks, And Jamel and Chris, before they even had their match started, they said they're going to just split it no yeah, matter what. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. 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 So. Especially it was, it was the first pro grappling uh Kind of pro grappling matches in Kentucky, so yeah. it was kind of like we kind of agreed, like, man, this is kind of the good, f- you know, kind of for the good of the state and everything. Like, uh, let's get some pro grappling matches here. Yeah. So, yeah. we kind of agreed, yeah, let's split it and let's do it. Cool. Yeah. So That's instead cool. of paying fifty to a hundred bucks to compete, they walked away with fifty bucks each. Yeah, which was pretty cool for Kentucky, because we all know if you've been grappling, you know, for years. Uh, you realize how much money you spend at tournaments. You spend a lot. And people are spending all this money at IBGFs, and you're going to go with the same people you go with at your local Naga. So unless you go do Worlds or something, then you're going with a whole different class. Yeah, that's uh, when it comes to something big time like that, yeah. Worlds, ADCC, yeah. it's different. But when, when it's like Ego, which is in um, Indianapolis, and then the Naga that we compete at, all the time, it's like the same people that go up. Isn't that yeah. great, Trent? That's hilarious. Yeah. That's so funny. And that's so cool. That's cool. Yeah, you guys so can cool see this. <laughs> if you listen to this, I know you know who Chu is. Highly recommend yeah. watch that video. Chad yes, the Beast it's, Hardy. Ha- it's hilarious. It's on both their pages, Chu and Chad oh, the Beast Hardy. Oh, he attacks Hardy. the ref. <laughs> He's going after the ref. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, we got a waitress. Oh, a waitress. yeah. See that? I snapped my fingers. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, for oh, the oh, true Don't pass it. Get on camera. Oh, Get on whoa. camera. <laughs> Look, she, hey, she wore her best outfit today, too. She <laughs> always wears that on Sunday, yeah, if you, you notice. Guys, you guys can find Jenna at Solid Platinum on Friday, Saturday. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Solid, guys, solid Platinum. No, please, have her. <laughs> please help her nursing degree. You can see here at Larry's Doghouse on <laughs> Larry's Doghouse. <laughs> Solid platinum. Man. <laughs> they have respect there. We have a casting call later on today. Did you see the video? Good? Funny? Yeah, it was hilarious. It was so funny. I'm going to try to do that but one that, next time. That's a good way to go. I mean, I think that was for the prize money, too, and they both made it into the absolute uh, finals. So. Have you ever trained up there at Derby City? I have yeah. not, man. I really, really want to go up there and train sometime. Yeah, I would uh, like to, too. Yeah, they are. We had a couple of their teammates great. down here today, and you know, good guys roll. We did. It's a yeah, yeah. Matt Harrison, Matt, Matt Harrison. Here. teammate of mine, Paul Hogan. He goes up there and trains quite a bit. Cool. And he says that it's a it's it's does a great he, experience. Yeah. Up there, so I want to yeah. go up there for sure sometime. He takes the kids' class. <laughs> yeah, 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 he does. <laughs> yeah. Dude, let, let me tell you something funny. Like my sister, they they came in. Uh, Paul and Chris Sizemore came in yesterday, and they did some like women's self defense seminar through like Blue Jitsu. They're their uh, program, it's basically, what they do is it's kind of a way to teach cops jiu-jitsu, which is a pretty cool thing. I think oh, that everybody man. should know jiu-jitsu. <laughs> I like having my ups on yeah, them. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I totally understand that. But um, but they usually teach well, cops jiu-jitsu. Me and Ethan are white, so we don't need it. We just yeah. use our words. Yeah. yeah. So they did a women's hey, self-defense seminar hey. yesterday, and my <laughs> sister looks out there and sees Paul, and Paul's like kind of like talking. They're getting ready to start the seminar. And then she goes, man, that guy out there is really tiny. <laughs> and oh, then no. I just start <laughs> dying laughing. And uh, Paul looks at me through the window. And, like, I can't control my laughter. And I just kind of, like, motioned him, like, come, come over here. here. Come over here. Tina's like, no, don't tell him what I said. <laughs> and then he comes Tina's out awesome. there. And I told him, like, yeah, I just wanted to let you know. She looked at you and said, you're really tiny. And he... He just started cracking up laughing. Paul's a cool dude, but kind of made like a sad face yeah. and everything. Yeah, speaking, took, speaking took down her license number. Yeah, so. yeah, took <laughs> down her license number. S- uh, mm-hmm. Speaking of women's self-defense, uh, we we had our first... All women's jiu-jitsu mm-hmm. class. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes. Good, good old Jenna Jenny. actually attended to that. Look at her. Hey. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty awesome. Um, Wait, I is think, she crying? I think the girls liked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think all that stuff's good, man. I think Chris Sizemore actually, um, before before he moved out here, he came down from Indiana and he competed in our first uh, combat jiu-jitsu tournament I ever had. Mm-hmm. And he also fought Chewy. 
Nick Alvin. Yeah, yeah. They had a pro fight against each other. MMA? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And cool. Chewy, Chewy won. Nice. How? I was there. I think a decision. It was a good fight. Nice. Yeah, I heard it was a good fight. It was a good I haven't, fight. I haven't actually watched it, but. I was there, and I'm pretty sure it was in the uh, that uh, bunker that Hard Rock Coast fights in, um, the flea market in Louisville. Yeah, yeah. But it was for a different uh, show, but yeah. Yeah, Chris is a tough dude, man. And I He's know a tough Chewy's dude. super tough, too. Chris so, J Jamel, after this fight, what 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 what's the future like for you? What what do you Anything what do you have up? planned? Do you we know you want to drop down to one thirty five after this. If I drop down to one thirty five, probably hungry. Yeah, yeah that's it's gonna be real future. hungry. Yeah, 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 gonna be real yeah. hungry. Yeah. Learn the love, <laughs> learn the love the hunger. Yeah. But yeah. talk about your diet a little bit for this. Uh, I mean, I always love this kind of stuff, but uh, you said you switched it up. A little bit, and it's actually helped a lot. Let's talk about that first. All Mexican food. Yeah, all Mexican food. Yeah, you just poop it out immediately. It goes <laughs> yeah. in, it goes out. Right, I mean, so quick. Yeah. So quick. <laughs> but uh, actually, I've been doing the keto diet for a while, um, okay. for the past few fights, and that's pretty much like low carb, high protein, and What's like your ketosis level? I don't know. Do you track it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know if he's Get with Sandra. I love keto. Yeah. What's your ketosis level? Sandra will take uh, your blood eight? and uh, <laughs> let you know. Yeah. Yes. I'm pretty sure at this point I'm in ketosis because I've been like I've been burned off pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. But um but intermittent I'm fasting. doing that and then this time I've added in intermittent fasting. Yeah. Which okay. if anybody doesn't know, basically like, you know, for your 24-hour day, you basically will take, like, it, you can take, really, there, it kind of varies the amount of time that you can eat, that window to eat. But I do eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah, See, eight most hours. people do 10, 12. I try to keep it within 10. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that in the past, like ten, twelve. It doesn't work out that great for me. But eight hours. Well, I don't. I, I mean, I, yeah, I only cut, you know, about twenty-five pounds, and most of that's in water. So right. I, I don't have to be like. But if I, you know, if I ever got like offered a one seventy title fight or something like that, I'd consider it, and I'd probably have to go down to like eight hours or something like if that. Money's on the line. Yeah, if yeah. there, yeah, if there was something that was actually worth it. Yeah, man, but, like, I've always heard that, like, you know, like, oh, you shouldn't eat after, like, 6 or 7 o'clock or whatever, but I tend to be a late-night eater, man. Well, it's all, it's your body, so, like, if you push, because I've been doing intermittent fasting for, like, a couple years now, I, I did it before it got popul popular, because I just don't like to eat in the morning. Yeah. I like to drink coffee, like, I like to drink a that's pot what of I do. coffee. Yeah. Like Bunch that's, of water and coffee. Exactly. Yeah. So, like... I mean, I would wake up and I would not eat, and everyone would see me eating these late, like late night meals, and they'd be like, "How aren't you? How aren't you huge if you're eating?" And then like, because like I've only this is only like my second time eating today, well, but yeah. I eat all my calories in this like one sitting. So me, the way I do it is like I wake up and I do six hours, like six hours before I like anything. You know? Yeah. So it's just coffee and water for at least six hours, and then I'll I'll eat a big lunch, and that's usually around like twelve. So I know as long as I don't eat past twelve, You're anything I eat 12, will, before, 12. Uh, before twelve, anything that I eat will be digested. I yeah. won't go to sleep with any of that that uh, in my stomach, and it won't just because when you go to sleep. It just stores because your metabolism shuts off. Right. So, like, your body just sits there and stores this, all this food that you just ate, and it turns into fat. So, if you, you keep it in that window, you go to bed knowing that there's nothing, that your body, your metabolism has burned off everything. You've used all that food for energy throughout the day, and you're going to bed with nothing in your stomach. For sure. Yeah. If you guys do two-a-days, do you guys usually eat before your first workout? I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I honestly, I don't like to eat before any workout. Yeah, I'll, I'll train till about like two thirty or so. And so I don't even. And you know, when you're training, you aren't even thinking about. You're it. You're not even thinking about you're it. Not even thinking nope. about it. So it's an easy. And the way. thing is, it's all about training your body. Because, like I said, we were talking about this earlier. I'll wake up and I'll go on the work now, and I'll see. We'll have our morning meeting, and I'll see people eating donuts and biscuits and stuff like that. And literally, you'll They're dead after by lunch. after a while, you'll be like, ah, like how. Like Dude, that yeah. just looks yeah. disgusting. They'll yeah. be like, "Here, you want a glazed donut?" No, no, I don't. Like that looks disgusting. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like three months ago, I would have been like, "I want to get in on that." <laughs> but <laughs> I want all twelve of yeah. them, please. Yeah, but now, man, I'm the same way. Like I look at it and like, 
don't feel tempted at all. Yeah. And that's the thing. I think people don't give it a chance because they they like, oh, I'm just starving myself. No, you're just training your body to no. eat differently, to to maximize and you use everything that you Use up the rest of the blood sugar. Use up the rest exactly. of the stuff they ate yesterday. Yeah. And stay and like, you know, stay away from some carbs, you know, like bad carbs. Yeah. yeah. Eat good carbs. Pounding and bread constantly. Yeah. Because like if pe- a lot of people don't know this, but like your body doesn't know how to break down ca- like bread. So all it does is take that and it turns it into sugar. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Bread and, and sugar. And then it just stores, bro. <laughs> yeah. So it just stores. So yeah. and and bread people, makes you fat. Um, people, bread make, bread makes you fat. That's so, basically yeah. what like Adam's drinking right now, man. Bread. No, <laughs> those are the <laughs> best <laughs> calories, dude. Oh yeah, that's. I corona. will skip. Okay, I'll bad. skip. Yeah. I will skip ten <laughs> meals for just. Uh, I'll be like. I'll be like on death's door, and they'll be like, "Why are you doing that?" Like, I'm gonna <laughs> drink. Eight, I need a Guinness. I'm, I'm gonna drink eight <laughs> hey. Guinnesses tonight, <laughs> so I skipped lunch and breakfast. I got a good or lunch question. and dinner. I got a good question for Jamel. <laughs> oh, Lord. so two, two minutes. Uh, I can imagine. How much? And we gotta wrap this up. How much minutes. is Hard Rock paying you for this fight? Uh, oh, ooh, are we gonna wrap ooh, this up in this two minutes? Kind of <laughs> well, I, I think I it's think, time to jump off the podcast. I think <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> perfect time. I'm just curious. The only thing uh, we can we ra- roundabout, roundabout. All right, all right. I'll Let's tell not you get this. too personal. I'll tell you this. Um, why not? I'm making more off sponsors for sure. Uh, uh, actually, oh. actually, I got a question. How much money do you have in the bank right now? And <laughs> <laughs> what's your what, bank account? What's your routing number? What's your <laughs> seven dollars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I don't, I don't have the overdraft fee, so <laughs> yeah. you know it's it's hurting. I, God, I wish I had food stamps. <laughs> That's who I get sponsored by. <laughs> Look, we made uh we made Jamel's wife very happy. She said so far so good. He oh, passed, he passed hey, all the relationship <laughs> questions. <laughs> Except was he truth Love you, Sarah. fully with you with how many sexual partners he had before you? Oh, zero. We, we oh, oh yeah. Zero. Oh, yeah. you got it right. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. time for another <laughs> podcast. Congratulations. Right. Plug Plug what you got. Plug, plug what you got, man. We're about yeah. out. Yeah, man. So uh, I got my gym, Lexington Taekwondo and Jiu Jitsu Academy. It's off the corner of Pimlico Parkway and Man of War. Um, I actually run that with my family. So uh, check so it out. That. What's that? Check it out. Yeah, check it out. check it out for sure, man. And then I want to give a shout out to my sponsors. Um, I got Vast Design and Construction. Um, actually, that's a student of mine. He does really, really, really good work, man. He's a he's real artistic, real creative, and then does great, great job on housework. I've actually had him do that in my house, um, and he does a great job. Uh, Parka Apparel, Prince Cuts, uh, Elite Home Game Rooms, and Amanda's Hearing Care, and also Matt Life. Matt Life. Awesome, man. Hey, can you guys shut the... F- <laughs> I didn't say nothing. It was him. Hey, thank you guys uh, for tuning in, listening to our show. Uh, Please go ahead and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play. Traveler Trent, Traveler underscore Trent 517 uh, on Instagram. Trent not on Facebook. Don't have a Twitter. Uh, Fighting for the AFC 185-pound belt uh, June 15th. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Matt Life, Hemp Works. I'm Boss Goss um, on Instagram. That's the only thing. Um, we got that. Facebook. At Facebook. Jamal. Ethan Goss at Facebook. <laughs> at Jamal Muhammad 145 on Instagram. Soon and to be 135. Yeah. yeah soon <laughs> to be. Yeah. And then uh, Jamal Muhammad on Facebook. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, see, see you, you guys time. May 25th. <laughs> cool. Hey, what?